for watching Wood and Shop. I'm Joshua Farnsworth. I want to show you how to make one of the most simple joints and a very useful joint is called a dado joint. Dados are used a lot for uh, putting a shelf into something like this, a cabinet. You can see this was a dado uh, in there. So let's get started. Uh, one way to not to make a dado very easily is using a dado plane. Some people think that that is an easy way to do it, but it's actually not. So what I like to do is first take my board and decide how far down I want it. I've already, I've already made a mark. I've already uh, set my marking gauge and you can mark the whole thing, but I just like to mark the beginning and the end. You might think that's weird, but a lot of times your, uh, your stock may not be exactly perfect. There may be some imperfections. So instead of scribing a perfect line down there, I like to do that. And then I set my board here. You can see the lines that I've created. And I just like to line it up like that because there may be a little waviness or something in there. Hopefully you haven't, you're not using imperfect wood, but I want it to fit more like a puzzle fit perfectly and then I just tap it down a little bit with the hold fast in the mallet and then I take my knife and give a nice deep line with several passes on both sides I'm scribing the depth on both sides and then do like a little angled trench down there and this is going to hold your crosscut back saw in there. It'll give it a, a place to rest. And that doesn't look very pretty, but it doesn't need to be pretty. It's just a guide. So then I take a crosscut saw like this, a crosscut back saw like this, and I set it here in this little kerf I've created. And hopefully this isn't too messy. And so saw down until you hit your depth line on both sides. You could even go a little shy of that. And we'll clean out the bottom with a router plane. And try to really keep your saw straight up and down. And do the same thing on the other, other little kerf here that you created. Okay, so I'm down to the bottom on both of those. And so I will take a chisel, a bench chisel that's just a little smaller than my hole there and just use it to knock out as much waste as I can. The fun part of this is to use a router plane. And a router plane isn't like an electrical router. It's uh, something that will clean out the bottom of a workpiece. I will take this and loosen the back here, and then that lets me adjust this depth adjuster wheel, and I'll set it to the depth of the bottom of my line there. So I will, you'll have to kind of take my word for it on this side. Some of these older ones, they actually, when you tighten it up, the blade lifts up a little bit, so you just kind of have to tighten it and lower it. Just some trial and error. And that's perfect. So you don't want to take too big of a too big of a uh, a bite with it. Let's put another hold fast on here. This is why I have two hold fasts. And that will clean out the bottom and it will give it a uniform depth. And you can come the other way. Just make sure this is tight. Some of these older ones will sometimes slip. And that is that. And that was pretty fast. Now let's see if it fits. I gotta cross my fingers. 
and I hope that I I didn't uh, I should have marked which way this goes just to make sure that it fits right there you go that was the right way but if you forget to mark it you'll figure it out and there you go you got a very tight and custom fit dado joint you can see how it will work if you uh, imagine that this is a little bit wider and this is a shelf this will give you a nice strong joint so uh, that's the that's the easiest way that I know of to make a dado joint and uh, I hope this has been really helpful uh, if you just make sure you don't forget to subscribe to my videos up there on the blue button and uh, remember to subscribe to my traditional woodworking blog posts at woodandshop.com.